there's a call tonight for people to stop using those iconic blue Postal Service mailboxes in St. Louis. Fox 2's Andy Banker has new evidence of the reason for that. People stealing mail from the boxes again and again. We're at Euclid and Laclede. It was a couple of Saturdays ago, shortly before 5 o'clock in the morning. A surveillance camera caught a man stealing from his old blue mailbox back here. He actually had a key. And authorities say he was just getting started. Police may never have discovered the crimes, but for something you'll notice in this video, the suspect having trouble with the mailbox access panel using his foot to try to force it to stay closed. We got alerted by a business owner that saw one of the mailboxes, the, the bottom access panel, not closed all the way. And so he looked at his business cameras. The Central West End's neighborhood security team then checked its surveillance cameras too and found the same suspect stealing from at least one, two, three, four more neighborhood mailboxes. Authorities say thieves have been targeting letter carriers for their mailbox keys nationwide. Efforts to replace the locks have not kept pace with the crime. For instance, we've shown you this theft at Maryland and Euclid in December. The same box with the same old lock was among those just hit, and so was the mailbox Patty Hayes uses. She says her bank recently notified her someone tried to cash a check she had written changing the amount from $200 to $2,000. I mailed it right here. I hated it, and I'm not surprised because I heard, have heard about that. But when I had a check that was intercepted, now I know that that's real. People, I think, are most upset about that. This sacred institution that we know as the post office has become so vulnerable. He's now telling residents to stop using the blue boxes altogether. He's asking the Postal Service to either remove or cover and seal them. The Postal Service has rolled out more than 10,000 new high-security blue boxes and is replacing nearly 50,000 antiquated locks with new electronic ones. But officials cannot tell us whether any of them have made it to St. Louis yet. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.